Hello friends and welcome to the Stampin' Squad. If you're new here, I just want to tell you that here in the Stampin' Squad, we're a community of friends and we're learning to appreciate and value ourselves and each other and also the creative spirit that lives each inside each and every one of us, right? So that's what we're about and I have a really cute card for you today. It's a masculine card. Um, I don't do those very often, <laughs> so so if you're looking for a masculine card, tune in. I'm going to use a couple of items from Celebration uh, that was in January and February of 2024, um, but if you don't have those products, no worries. Uh, you, you will have some other products that you can substitute, I am sure of it. So first of all, I'm going to use this stamp set called Heartfelt Hellos, and specifically this stamp, Dad, You're the Best. So I'm going to be using that, and also I'm going to use a designer series paper called Trusty Toolbox that was part of Celebration. Now, you may also have the bundle the trusty toolbox bundle that has dies and a stamp set. So you could definitely use that to make this card. All right, let's talk about what we've got here today. I have a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. It is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. It's scored in the middle at four and a quarter. And let me grab my ruler because I want to make sure I tell you the right measurements for these for these items. Okay, here we go. This piece of designer series paper is four inches by five and a quarter. Yes. And then I've got some cardstock here. This piece is basic white. It is three and three quarters by five. I've got a piece of basic black. It is two and a half by three and a half. And then this was a piece of crushed curry. I'm gonna show you what I did to get these uh, little circles punched out. But the piece of cardstock itself is two and a quarter by three and a quarter, yes. And then this is just a strip of the designer series paper from that pack. So this card will come together really quickly. Let's talk about this before we move on. I used a die called Dots and Spots. This is the die, and I just ran this piece of crushed curry cardstock through my uh, die cut machine. And this is what it looks like when it comes out the other side. I cut this piece of cardstock specifically so it would fit right in here so I wouldn't end up with like half circles on the edges. So all the circles will be contained inside the piece of cardstock. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that may not matter to you, <laughs> but I was being kind of persnickety about it. So, um, so I made sure that I cut my cardstock to the size that would fit. All right. Oh, I also have a little strip of the Poppy Parade and that's where I'm going to stamp this sentiment. I'm just going to use my Tuxedo black ink, my Memento black, and I'm just going to stamp that on here. Let's see, how did I do today? Not too bad, not too bad. I think that will work just fine. And while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and cut just the end off of it, just to give it a little more interest. Instead of just a plain rectangle, why not have one that's got like a little banner on the end? All right, I'm gonna set that aside right over here. Let's get the ink out of the way so I don't make a mess. And actually, let's, uh, let's talk about something else I've already done before we started here. One of the sheets of designer series paper let me see if I can find a full sheet here. Yes, here we go. So this is one of the sheets of designer series paper. So I just took out my paper snips and just cut these out. Now, we see some of them are on the edge, like this, this, this. Uh, 
I didn't throw those away. I kept them and I will show you uh, what I did with those pieces. So whenever you have that, whenever you have some designer's truth paper and you're gonna die cut or you're going to fussy cut out some of the pieces, don't discard the ones that are on the edge because you can use those as well. All right, here are some pieces that I already cut out and I think, I think I'm gonna use those two pieces today. All right, let me work on the inside of the card for just a minute and I'll show you what I did with these. Let me grab my glue. and put a little multi-purpose glue on the back of this. I think the strip is longer than I need, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the end there. I'm just gonna put this right on the edge. And line that up. There we go. Press it down. I love the glue because I can smush things around a little bit if I don't get them exactly where I want them to start with. Let me grab my paper snips and just get rid of this little piece on the end. We do not need that. Here we go. And I'm gonna grab this, because I pressed that down. I probably shouldn't have pressed it down too hard yet because I am going to slip these partial images in there like this. So we've got a wrench and this is a pencil. And let's put that in here. Let's see. Figure out where I want it. I think I'll just put it right there. So we've got a couple little items on the inside of our card. I love that. Let me fold and burnish my card base. I hope that you were able to get all the things that you wanted from Celebration this year. There were such great products. I got tons. <laughs> I have to confess, I got tons of things. And I cut my inside piece of white a little smaller than I usually do just because I loved this margin of the Poppy Parade. I thought the color was so fun that I wanted to show more of it. Now, this goes on the front, so let's glue that in place. And I will tell you that um, today's the last day of February. It is leap year. Uh, it is February 29th. And on March 5th, so just a few days away, they are introducing, Stampin' Up! is introducing a lot of new online exclusives. And they are fantastic, as always. There's one uh, suite in particular that is called Latte Love. So if you are a coffee drinker like I am, coffee lover, probably more accurate for me, you want to check out that suite. I have a little sneak peek video that you can watch to see what, what all is in that suite. Because I already have it. <laughs> One of the benefits of being a demonstrator is you can get all the things early and start playing with them. So soon you're going to see some projects from me with the Latte Love Suite. If you need help ordering, you can just email me or leave a comment. I love to help. Let's see. I'm trying to decide how much of a angle I want on that and I think I'm gonna go with that right there and now I'm going to add my tools my glue is about empty I think 
So we'll put this one here. And the pliers, I'm not a, um, a handy person myself. Maybe you are, but I am not. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I know the names of these tools. That may seem ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous to some of you, but it's, it's who I am. Now, if you want to talk about crafting tools, I know what those are. So this is going to go right down here at the bottom. I am just going to grab my dimensionals again. And I'm going to put one at each end. That way they won't be on top of this piece that I have already popped up. Because I don't need a double pop-up. Okay, let's put this right here. And there you have it. Dad, you're the best. So this could be birthday. It could be a thank you because you're, maybe your dad fixed something for you. Father's Day. Let me show you another one that I made. This one's got those same pliers, but it's got a tape measure. And on the inside, let's see what's on the inside. Oh, screwdriver. So there are a couple examples of how you can use the trusty tools. And as I said, if you don't have the paper, maybe you have the stamp set and the dies, or maybe just the stamp set. You could stamp these images and uh, fuzzy cut them out. So I hope you enjoyed this card today. I've got lots of things in my queue right now, so I will be coming back very soon with more videos. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.